Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When last we left off, Sarken had just freed the Dryad and got the lock of hair from the Dryad for the cure for the Wailing Death. Now we were in the Rum Bottom Estate, taking something that we had been tasked to recover that had apparently been stolen or maybe not. That aside, I, Sharwin, and my trusty bear, Crumpet, will recover it. Crumpet is just judging me with his eyes. You are a useless hero. I am far better than you. What was that you said there, Crumpet? Grr, I am a bear. Grr. Let's keep moving, shall we? We have much ground to cover in this estate. Actually, the estate's not that big. This door is, in fact, locked. Maybe, uh, Shaman will be able to unlock it if she can path around Crumpet. Can you unlock this? The answer is yes. Excellent. The advantage of having a bard. Ah, this looks like an interesting room, full of loot. In here is three gold. Not exactly prime loot, is it? In here, a locked chest. Are you trying to bash that open? You are. Why are you trying to bash that open? To battle! Ah, success will never be possible. Mm. Ugh, blast! You can stop trying to hit that now. We'll try one more time to unlock Fair it. Enough. Fair enough. Can we just keep hitting it then? I bet it is immune. Yeah, it's pretty much immune to damage. We are not getting that open. This one, we are, and it has a copper ring in it. So basically, that door had a lock to deal with a copper ring and three gold pieces. Not exactly prime loot there, is it? Oh well, maybe this door has more prime loot in it. I doubt it. Done and done. Thank you! Ah, it is a room with random boxes, so probably not prime loot. As that single gold piece and 24 sling bullets will tell me. However, there are other boxes. Potions, more gold, Fair enough. A locked chest. I was almost about to say death if it happened to just explode and deal 70 billion damage to us. But no. In here is a gem and six gold. Definitely worth locking up that. Most definitely. But hey, we're probably going to find the item we're looking for, and then we have another area that we're going to have to go into. Oh, ooh. This is an interesting room, and I am wary of it. Fair enough. I'm especially wary about the fact that uh, we have to unlock this door. Hmm. Well, hopefully uh, done and done. there won't be anything terrible on the other side. There is going to be something terrible in here. This is a library, and libraries have guards. They are pretty easy to defeat, though, apparently. Let us defeat them. There are four. Soon to be three when Bear gets there. Yup. Am I actually... Nope, nope. Two of them have been killed by Bear. Uh, I got one of them. So it's one to me and two to Bear. Bear is going to finish this off, isn't it? Nearly. Nearly. Nope, two all. There we go. We can loot a lot of things in here. Are any of them worth looting? That's the question. Well, there is a book. I'm entirely burdened with inventory. I could actually go back and just sell things. That is actually an option. Could go back and sell things. I am overburdened. Kind of tempted Perhaps to go back and you sell things. Should bear some of my load. I'm going to try using the uh, portal stone, the stone of recall, which will take me back to the halls of justice, whereupon I shall promptly ignore everything and walk out of the door. I can always head back through the recall portal. We do need to sell things. We do need to make space. And the way to make space is, of course, to go and uh, sell things at the uh, Trade of Blades. Fortunately, it's open all the time. No, don't admire... Don't walk through the fire! It's where they've been burning all the victims! Then again, there is no real connection to catching the uh, Wailing Death and being near victims, so... Walk through it... Watch. Well, I mean, enter totally the wrong... Actually, 
Just about to say I'd enter the wrong place, but you could get a pass to compete in the uh, things in that tavern. But I don't actually feel like doing that. Not at the moment, anyway. I don't think I'm high enough level for a start. Although I think you can go into any of the districts, and while you can go into any of the districts and do any of the actual quests there, the main quests, there are some things you just cannot do. Hello, dog! Hello? Greetings! Unfavorable. But we just want to sell things to uh, make carrying capacity, which we can in fact do. The journal... Ah, we could get things identified here, actually, while we're here. We don't want... We actually might want a thing of summon creature too. We don't want that. We might want this. Mm, Druid too. Technically, we can cast that. It might be useful. We don't want darts. We don't want poisoned arrows. Even though they cost a lot of money, we do not want them. We also don't want those. We don't want these. We don't want the. Ah, you will not buy stolen goods. In that case, I will just drop that on the floor and we shall forget that I ever had it. What else actually can I sell that is weighing this much? There's a lot of stuff that is weighing a lot. We can sell the dragon blood. Hmm, not entirely sure what that's for, but it doesn't weigh much, so we're going to keep it. Sell that. Two sling plus ones, we can sell one of them. We'll sell that weapon, we'll sell these arrows, can't even sell the arrows, he doesn't want them. Could sell that. <coughs> we have this armor here that we probably want identifying. It is a robe of cold resistance. Do you want it for anything awesome? You do want it for 250 gold, and we have no need for cold resistance, so we shall sell it. What else can I sell? We have a lot of carrying capacity just being taken up by things. What is this? We don't know? A Gloves of Sword play. Hmm. Parry plus three is not terrible. I mean, we could take it. We are. We do, however, Concentration plus three is actually... We're not actually probably going to parry, so... We actually lost money selling those. Sell these gems. I don't think we have much need for them. We can't sell the darts at all. Sell that. Sell that. Drop that. Charm? No, we're not going to be using that. We're definitely not going to be using that. What else won't we be using? We could get these identified. We will. It's not worth it. They are really good shuriken, but really good shuriken are only as good as your ability to use them. And I'm not able to use them that well. And we will get this identified is a magic bag. It does weigh a lot. 31.5 pounds. However, anything you store in there doesn't actually weigh anything. So we have all this equipment here that we can, in fact, just sell. Like this 532 gold greatsword. Good item. I don't know what this is. Ooh, greater gloves of concentration. Very nice. And these are gloves of animal handle handling, which we're probably going to hold on to anyway, purely because they are really good at taking care, at uh, dealing with animals. So we want to sell this, we want to sell this. <coughs> 15 pounds. We want to keep the Shield of Dawn. We probably do for later. Right now, actually, I want to stop selling things. And I want to swap these round, because, to be honest, the weight difference is substantial. This is 15 pounds. This is 45 pounds. There is 30 pounds Ooh. of weight that I can just get rid of immediately by doing that. We will keep the ale, mind you. We will keep the ale. Hmm. What else can we do? Well, what we primarily want to do is we want to save after I've equipped these gloves of greater concentration. Because they're really good. They're really good. Hello. And we can sell these for 40 gold. We have 3,000 gold. That's a lot of gold. That is a lot of gold. We could also just sell the bag, but I get the feeling that uh, we might have need for that bag at some point. They are pretty uncommon, those bags. Hello. 
and it only sells for 178 gold. Now, currently the armor we're wearing is 40 pounds. Full plate, I do believe, is 50, and it does confer three extra armor. But it is 2,300 gold. However, it's 2,300 gold that I really, really think we need. Splint mail, chain mail, I mean, why get half plate when you can just get full plate and it's better? Plus, I'm well suited to it for my 12 dexterity, so we are just going to buy the full plate. There's probably a suit of full plate later in the game that I can get. However, there we are. We're actually well equipped now with full plate, which is amazing. We could have a helmet oh. with it. We could have a helmet with it. Tempted to. Sell that. Hmm. None of these helmets are particularly good, though. They don't really do a lot. They give you concentration plus one. But for what I'm actually getting them for, I mean, we'll find a magic helmet soon enough, I'm sure. <laughs> soon enough. Okay, I think that was pretty good. We have cleared out most of my inventory. However, we do now have a heavy armor class. That is a big armor class we have there. 21 AC. Not bad for a druid. Yes, and I know I'm completely breaking the fact that druids are not allowed to wear metallic armor, but in this game they are, as long as you give them the proficiencies. I can still cast all of my spells, which is good, because I need to cast all of those spells. If I don't cast those spells, I'm just kind of a fighter with an even lower armor class. So let's head back into the Halls of Justice, ignore the fact that we have something that um, Lady Arabeth wants, and head back into the portal. Ooh, 50 gold. Mm. Yeah, 50 gold is probably not a bad fee to pay to go back. We lost 50 gold. However, we're going to gain a lot more than that by wearing full plate and not dying as much. It does mean, however, that we pretty much do not need to equip ourselves with any kind of... Uh, ooh, there's a bag over there, too. We don't need to equip ourselves with any other kind of armor for now. We are well equipped, especially considering we've only gone past the first area. Not bad. Now we need to make up for the fact that we've just spent 2,000 gold on a suit of armor. This probably isn't going to help, because it's probably just going to be a box with about 5 done gold done. in it. No, a single gold piece. Oh, woo. It's alright. We just haven't found a cool enough helmet yet to be wearing a helmet. Where is Crumpet. Come on, Crumpet. Crumpet, I think, is in fact stuck. Well, I'm sure Crumpet will manage to path his way out eventually. Ah! This noble looks a blustery sort, used to getting his own way. Well, he's not going to be getting his own way in a minute, because we are going to be getting the item we need. Hello. I greet you. By what right do you enter my home? Did a Afala put you up to this? I demand to know! I did not say I was sent by Afala. Oh, but who else would put you up to this, hmm? Well, if she wants that portrait, she should send real fighting men to get it. <laughs> Ooh, we could be really, really mean about it. Sit your pathetic self down or I will hurt you. Uh, now then, there's no call for that kind of talk. I didn't mean to threaten you. J just thought I'd try the old school discipline, uh, eh? Y yes. Obviously, your father means business. Sh she said some capable muscle. T take what you want. I'm not the fighter I once was. That's right. Stay here and there and no one gets hurt. <sighs> not like the old days. J just don't hurt me. Well, right. Let's go get our stuff. Hello, bear. Just leave the, uh, the man here alone. Apparently he was a fighter in his day. Well, he's not a fighter anymore. And neither am I. I'm a druid. Ooh, two-bladed sword. Entirely worthless to me. And that is also locked. Nope, nope, we're not using bear methods of opening things. We're using, uh, Sharwin methods of opening things. Like that. There is a portrait in here. And a plus one spear. 
not bad. This portrait is a rather unremarkable likeness of Sir Reginald Rumbottom III. The only things that stand out about it are the strange markings on the back of the canvas. They are largely illegible, but the name Ufala Cheldestorn does appear to be among them. Ah, looks like she was indeed the owner and something happened which meant that she lost it. As as we said, possibility that it could have been stolen. You could have just... I could have just fought him there, but I am still good. Neutral, but still good. Not going to just kill him. Wouldn't mind, however, to get a plus one scimitar, although I don't think the game is going to be that generous and just provide me with one. I'm just curious to see what's going to happen when I actually step outside this area and that guard realises I've just ransacked everything. Remember that guard? The guard that I just, like, unlocked the door right in front of and just walked past? Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Is there anything else that I can take? Not potentially there, but uh, you'll be able to unlock the door. Probably full of guards. Done and done. Thank you. Yep, it's full of guard dogs. Or just one. It's massive. Oh, two. Okay, it has two guard dogs. I accidentally moved the camera there, and everything then died. It wasn't the camera angle moving that killed them, I don't think. Two bolts. This room is quite literally brimming with loot. Two whole bolts. A winged helmet, so we get to find out what that looks like. It actually looks quite good. I think we'll use that. Excellent. I didn't need to buy one after all. Well, let Charwin do the unlocking. While whistling, apparently. There we go. What, what's in here? A potion. We could always use more potions. We have a fantastic concentration skill, I imagine. Right. And... A lot of guards. Ooh, this could be tough. I think this is going to be so tough that we might need the boar. Oh, no, 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 no. Cast a spell. Uh-oh, this is bad. Aha! Ambush boar! Ooh, might need some help here, bear. Give me a hand. There we go. Much... Ow! Stop trying to hit me. That's just mean. There we go. A bit of cure. There we go. And while we're here, why don't we cast a bit of bark skin as well? Get some natural armor going. There we go. Doesn't matter that we're actually covered in metal, because it looks like we're covered in tree! And now it is time to kill everything. That boar is doing fantastically well. We shall not be defeated! No, we shall not, because we have the summoned dire boar of awesome there. I think the Diabore's got this in hand. Well, Shaman's gonna help anyway. Yeah, I think the Diabore's pretty good. Yep, and that's that. I think victory is ours. Oh, and one of them dropped loot. I bet it's about nothing. Actually, none of them dropped loot by the looks of it. But there are a lot of chests. These will have loot in them. Like, ale. And four gold pieces. Why did I kill all of these people again? Oh yes, experience. And a gem. Just once you want one of them to be like, PLUS FIVE SCIMITAR! Like what, it's a family heirloom. And I think with that, every single enemy in the whole of the estate has been defeated. Which is handy. So we've killed all of his guards, stole anything of any possible value, and then threatened him with his life so that we can get a painting back that may or may not have been stolen. We only have a father's word on it, but after all... Yep, definitely neutral good, Sarken. Definitely neutral good. Let's go. I wonder what the man outside here thinks about the fact that we just did all this. Is he now hostile? Nope, he didn't see anything, so he's not going to comment on it. And when we come back, folks, we are going to go to this estate, because we have something to steal, I mean, get back, yes, get back, from here. Namely, I think, 
there's an urn to get, and there is another item. I think the quest log will tell me. But that's for another time. So, I'll catch you next time. See you then. Later. Mm. Tinned half orc. Doesn't have fur and death claws like me. What was that bear? <laughs>